So now that I've got the rear standard height set, at least this distance here off the focusing rack or the base, now I can figure out where this is going to sit. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm squaring up these uh, front standard side pieces and the base. I kind of like the eccentricities of this cherry. Ideally, I want to be able to slip essentially an 062 shim on either side. All right, so I cut them. I think it sort of worked out the way I wanted it to. Just moving it sideways with very, very shallow cuts, so I'm not removing very much material. That seemed to work really well. That might be enough. This should just slip right over the top. There we go. Nice. These little thumb screws are too short and I think they're just too small. I don't like the diameter. So I might I might go ahead and fabricate a wood knob that's a little bit larger, easier to deal with. Alright, so I got this plate squared up, lined up. I uh, flattened it on the diamond stone. I used a 1200 grit just to get it as flat as I could make it. Still have a few scratches in it, but at the very end I can polish those out. I also made sure that the screws themselves uh, were below the surface. And then all I have to do is drill the holes, uh, the four quarter inch inserts here to handle the nut the thumb screw that will uh, go here. So what I just made is the bushings, which allows the thread to not bind. So the screw is tight, which holds the bushing in place, and then the arm is allowed to rotate around it. I'm starting to get it. It sort of it sort of knows where it wants to go. <laughs> well, finally got it. Sorta. Of. Just have to figure out where everything's gonna sit. 
case you're wondering what happens when you don't mix your epoxy resins one to one, you get this. <laughs> this is a day later. It's all mushy. All right, so now we've got the bellows. And I struggled a little bit with trying to figure out how to how to mount a frame on this. Like, do I just flatten this and glue it and press it? Do the same on the back? Or do I, what, it was not clear and I couldn't find any references sort of describing how to do it, especially with the heavy bellows like this. So what I'm gonna do is put manufacture a small frame that has a little thinner than this, but maybe deeper than this, about a quarter inch, that will, I'll glue inside this square, and then I'm gonna mount this to the outside. And that should give me a light type connector. And then this frame will fit into the front standard like that. So it'll go in here, we'll fasten it in place, I'll need um, to take a little more material out here, so I'll have to cut a circle. This is a three inch circle, I'll have to cut that. So, pull this off, hopefully I won't tear this up too badly. And then the same thing with the rear frame, that'll fit, <laughs> this is a really, really bad frame. Anyway, it is square though, um, so this will fit back of the bellows like this. So there'll be another something glued inside just to square it up and give this a mating surface. And then this will be glued to that. And then this will be attached. So this is coming along. Well, this is what happens when you cut the wrong side. <laughs> Junk. So the frames are installed. So now what I'll do is I carefully did not paint this surface for better adhesion to this surface. So now I just need to affix this piece to the frame. Don't have a lot of epoxy left. Oh man, that's it. All right, let's see how far we can get with this. That should be enough. Okay. And I got this on my shoe. What am I doing? Yeah. So here we go. thread into the wood too, which is sort of interesting. So you get threads in the brass, which are really the things that are strong, and then you have threads down into the wood as well. Interesting. All right, well that, that doesn't look terrible. Okay, bellows, frame. Some of this tape off for now. This is the top. Boy, brass when it's just really new just looks so good. It's gonna darken. I know. Okay, so. balance is much better. With the plates on top and bottom, it feels so much better. Okay, so that's the bottom. So we 
put this in from this side. Just go right in the bottom there. Take a little material off that front tab. I don't know, maybe not. It really snugs that in nicely. This guy, I'll just push into the frame. Yeah. Where's oh, the bellows? Is, is so stiff. It's really fighting me. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this bellows is just. It's gonna to be too much. <laughs> it's just, okay. But again, I'll have a frame here, ground glass, film. So that, that's okay. Oh yeah. So then, I'm gonna go grab a lens. This is the 90 millimeter lens. It's pretty light. coming along. That is a full on bellows. I don't see any issues inside. I haven't light proof checked it. Boy, <laughs> it's just really beefy. Beefy. Let's see, does it can I actually move it? Is it too stiff? Oh yeah, see that's interesting. So I didn't even think of this. It's, there's so much push pressure going that way that I'm, it won't retract. Not without me pushing on it with my finger. So that's interesting. I'm gonna have to add some resistance. Oh, that's amazing. That's super interesting. Really good to know that. I just didn't even think that there would be pressure from the bellows on, um, you know, posing. All these things we can fix. The bellows, again, I might just have to make a new one with thinner material. Um, I learned a lot from this though. Um, this clip actually looks pretty good. I kind of like that actually. Kind of like a little steampunk look to it which I like. And then this back frame fits precisely within the larger frame. So that's good, whoops. Uh, so tomorrow I think what I'll do is I'll build the frame to hold the film.